Happy Monday, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for today, October 7th, Monday. You pick a card, it's your main energy, but I do pull them all together. Cards are for all of us. And please do not judge a book by its cover. In this instance, don't judge a card by its cover. The This deck is, I'm not giving up this deck because it has been very useful, very good, but you know it's showing some of its rough edges. And it is important to uh, pick a card that you're more drawn to, not the way it looks, okay? Just saying. All right, if you are born today, October 7th, I'll do a reading for you next. Okay, so if you pick card number one, you have the Eight of Wands. Beautiful energy, I have to say. You have power today. I don't know why I pick up a Virgo energy, okay? Um, as above, so below. You definitely can't create anything today. You can uh, manifest things today. Um, there's a sense of excitement today too. Messages could be important. Travel is showing up as well. Um, I do feel your diligence, your passion, and um, I don't know, there's a sense of apprenticeship here. You're working on something too. It is going to pay off, okay? Manifestation is high as well. There could be some good news, but it's as above, so below today. You have the ability to get anything you want. What you want and desire is there before you today too. All right, so seeing that energy. If you pick card number two, you have the four of uh, pentacles. All right, so you could be in your head a lot. Um, home and family may be on your um, mind, and so I do feel that. You could be investing um, into furniture, decorations, maybe you're remodeling. I don't know, investing money in the home is what I'm feeling as well. There are some things that you're still emotionally attached to, and you're kind of holding yourself back from making changes, but change is going to help is what I'm seeing here as well. There is some kind of celebration coming up too. There's finding happiness, joy, your marriage, or your relationship is in focus today too, and um there is a good energy. You're feeling more secure somehow. So do pick up that energy as well. All right. So if you pick card number three, you have the six of swords. I do feel some of you may be traveling this, um, traveling today, or you're leaving some troubles behind, but you do have help and someone is there um, for you. You may be kind of introspective to keeping more to yourself, um, so I do feel that you are headed in the right direction. Just know that, okay? Wisdom is important to and follow your intuition. Something you may have to still think about. Enlightenment is coming your way though, okay? So I do feel that energy too. I pick up a Virgo again. I'm just picking up Virgos today. <laughs> All right, so when we're looking at that, we're um, when we're looking at this, I do feel we are transitioning. There is an ending coming getting used to a new normal. There is some changes, internal conflicts or some kind of like ups and downs, but things will balance out as well. So I do feel that energy. Um, we may have to make some important decisions today, but we're weighing out our options um, carefully as well. So I do feel that energy too. Okay. All right. So that is the reading for today. Um, October 7th, Monday. Have a fabulous Monday. Happy birthday if you're born today, October 7th. This is your solar, your theme. That is your wish card. Your solar, your theme is the justice card is a major arcana, important solar year for you. Some of you will be dealing with the law um, or signing some kind of legal documents or agreements or official business. Um, for others, I do feel that this is a year you need to keep everything in balance, even your health and work and being practical is going to be important. Health you could have some bouts of health issues or mental health issues or people around you. I do see worry, anxiety, fear, maybe depression. Some of you may have some kind of nightmares or some kind of dreams that are confusing as well. There could be some mini dra uh, traumas dealing with too, so I do feel that, but don't feel hopeless. This is a year of getting your finances in order, your home in order, and um, definitely being practical and nurturing. Females are going to be important too. There is a soulmate connection here too that um, you may be coming, um, you may meeting uh, soulmates this year too, your soulmate group. Um, this could be dealing with parents for some reason or childhood as well. Females are definitely going to be indicated strongly this year. There's going to be changes in your life and there is some confusion. Things will be made clear to you. Um, love assistance and um, I do see life changes definitely love talk and assistance and counsel and therapies is showing up as well and a focus on your health there is somebody who's very supportive and loving that's going to be taking care of you somehow as well or offering you love um, I do feel here you could be very ambitious this could be also a very fast moving year uh, you're driven to succeed, um, and I do see that um, you could be very action-oriented at times, too. A lot of energies may be coming at you as well, 
Okay, good and bad. So I do feel that energy, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, an Aquarius, and Capricorn is coming to focus this year. All right. Um, your wish for your solar year is the Five of Wands. I do feel that this wish will come to fruition with some changes, though, okay? Um, important numbers for your solar year, 9, 28, 14 and 13, also 12. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond. And bye-bye for now.